Hi Libra, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And Libra, this is going to be one of their true intentions of love, alright? Let's go ahead and get a charm for, for you and then one for your person, alright? You're first Libra because, you know, today is the last day of Libra season. Yes, it is. So if you guys want a reading, send me an email today. You can get a reading. Uh, you get a reading on anybody you want, like your person or you. And you get a love reading both for 50 bucks, all right? So let's see what we have, you guys. And uh, and those are probably going to be uh, phone readings, though. Yeah, they probably are because there's a lot of upload time involved. Yes, there is. Going to be switching things up so, so to make that easier, all right? I'm working on it now. Let's get into the reading, you guys. And Libra, uh, let's see what we have for you. You have the butterfly. This is the first butterfly I've pulled like this. Usually I get this, this other one. Yeah. So, you have new beginnings, Libra. Yeah, wow. So, you know, things are supposed to be favor favorable for you during your birthday season. Yes, they are, all right? So, let's see what we got for your person. Let's see. And maybe this is, you know, a match made in heaven. Let's have a look here. And we have the arrow. Look at that. Wow, I hope things are going to work out for you guys. This is the arrow with the heart at the end of it, right? The best kind of arrow you could find. So, let's see what we have. And right now, Libra, we're going to get your energy first. Yes, we are. And we are, let's see what we have. We have the Page of Wands in the reverse. Okay. And let's see, crossing you is going to be judgment. And in the block view is the Five of Swords, though. So there's a little, there's a, there's a bump here. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, a bump for you. So let's turn this other light on. Uh, because we don't have new eyes over here. No, they're pretty old and used. So let's see what we got. Let's get another card, you guys. <laughs> and the Ten of Cups showing up for you. This is your desire, right? Everybody wants their happily ever after or to be a family dynamic you want. Page of Cups reversed. Your person's energy is the Queen of Cups. This is in the recent past, though. So interesting. So, Okay. They could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They could. And the Three of Cups, wow, is uh, in their energy right now. You look like you're on the same page with somebody here. With this person, with your person. You look like, let's see. But this here, this block here, I don't like this block. Five of Swords. So let's see what else we have. Maybe it is a mild challenge. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be a straightaway block. Like, yeah. And in their block is the Page of Swords. What they want is the Nine of Wands, is the Wounded Warrior. So it's unlikely they want that, and it's more likely they want to release themselves from that. The Knight of Swords is what they are doubting or fearing. So this is their hopes and desires, okay? All right, so let's see what we got for you, Libra. The Page of Wands is in the reverse, in the past. So let's look at the past vertically, you guys, because, you know, we look at things from all angles. That's what we do, especially uh, when it's time to vote. <laughs> so, yeah. But, you know, Page of Wands, you guys, Queen of Cups here in the reverse. And uh, we're not going to talk about that, though. No, we're not. Of course not. And this is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You know, you could be, this is like resisting change. It could be, you could be resisting change or maybe you want to walk a new path with them. We're going to find out what that means, all right, as we go, all right? <laughs> and judgment is going to be crossing, not even crossing you. This is your energy right now. So this is typically a rebirth, right? The angels flying over here, sweet angel above the people. And, you know, they've been in these caskets or these boxes and she's waking them up from the dead, like for a rebirth. Uh, this could be what you want right now with somebody. You could be living that, maybe. It's a possibility. You could be doing that with somebody. The Three of Cups is here. But I'm a little concerned here if there could be a third party. We're going to find out, but I feel like there is love. There could be love on both sides, right? This is very uh, positive, very auspicious and favorable with the, uh, you know, with the butterfly and then the heart and the... Uh, the heart on the arrow, right? Yeah, the kind we used to draw when we were in like junior high school, right? And somebody's kind of somebody's name like on it. <laughs> so in the block, you guys, is the five of swords and the page of swords, right? And uh, I just think there's some challenging energy here, okay? So we're going to find out. 
And over here, back over here, your current energy, you know, like kind of in sync with your person's current, uh, current energy or, you know, what you guys have together collectively is like a reunion. Right? Yeah. Three of Cups judgment. But there could be, there could be, I don't want to get too, you know, too happy here. I mean, I'd love to do that, but let's see. Let's look at the reading. All right. Maybe there was a wobble in the past. There could have been. Page of Wands in the reverse. You could have been resisting something in the past. So let's have a look here. Kind of a, you know, like a bump in the road in the past, maybe. So this is the recent past, though, right? Which in the timing in the tarot is, you know, uh, the timing in the tarot can be, uh, like, judging it can be limited. Yeah, it can be, you know, I've heard, like, the best say that, right? Or, yeah, the people have been doing it for, you know, a zillion years, uh, kind of, so to speak, right? Five of Swords and a Page of Swords in a Block. Uh, this could be, you know, maybe your person could be thinking here that you're going to do this. Maybe you're going to maybe reunite with somebody. We'll find out. And they look like they are overwhelmed. Why? That's in their desire. But you're desiring, like, a union or a happily ever after, Okay. So let's see here, though. Let's do the reading and find out, all right? So let's look at your energy right now, Libra. The Page of Wands reversed. Let's have a look at that. And uh, let's see. The Death card's in the reverse now. Mm -hmm. So the Death card in the reverse. In the past, you could have been resisting an ending with your person. You could have, right? You could have been resisting it, uh, and it's also a possibility you wanted something to end here, though. Because these are in the reverse, but <clears throat> they're showing up in the past, though. So let's see here. I feel like you were resisting, like, an ending or a major change, a major transformation. You know, this butterfly is here. It can talk about new beginnings, kind of like change, right? Yeah, the, meta, the uh, caterpillar was once, you know, the caterpillar, and now he is the transformed into the, or, or metamorph, metamorphosized, what's the word, morphed into the butterfly. So crossing you, or your current energy rather, is the Ace of Wands in Judgment. <coughs> hmm, let's see, let's have one more card on that. That looks pretty uh, delicious here. This is your current energy, Temperance. You look like you're getting back together with a Sagittarian. That's kind of how it looks here. Maybe a Scorpio with judgment. Uh, yeah, one more card because this, uh, it seems maybe a tiny bit inconclusive here, right? Incomplete. Empress. Okay, Libra, this could be you, but typically the Empress is like somebody passionate that you really want to kind of like, you know, uh, kind of, you know, be with. Mm-hmm. Over here in the past, you could have been resisting a change. Maybe you don't want something to end over here. Mm-hmm. I think I said that. Mm-hmm. Death card. Let's get one more card on this death card. In your past energy. Let's see where you're at, Libra. In the past. And now we have the King of Swords. I feel like this is you. And in the past, you didn't want something to end. All right? You could be having a rebirth with them right now. You could. Mm-hmm. And in your block is the Five of Swords. Why is that Five of Swords there for Libra? Let's see what we got. The beautiful Librans. Yeah, you guys are. Let's see what we have. Queen of Pentacles. There could be uh, an Earth sign. Wow. An Earth sign, a Water sign, and possibly a Sagittarian. This doesn't, Temperance always, doesn't always have to be Sagittarius. It, it can be, you know, possibly uh, kind of like healing a situation, right? And kind of grounding and kind of becoming uh, spiritually, like, uh, strong or grounded. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more card on the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on with that. And this is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and we've already seen Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio here. Ace of Cups. Okay, so in the block, there's some type of sabotage here, or maybe even a third party, but there's something going on here, and in the block here, you're being blocked right now. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. You could be, maybe it's a possibility you're in despair about a situation. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the Ten of Cups is saying over here. And uh, this is in your hopes or your desires. Knight of Cups in the reverse. I feel like you're hoping for, you're hoping for a love offer here, but you're, you could be hoping somebody's not going to be lying here. Sometimes the Knight of Cups in the reverse is like a trickster. Mm-hmm. 
This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio showing up. I feel like you want somebody's love here. This is clear, right? In your hopes. You do. Uh, let's get one more card in the Knight of Cups. What is out there for Libra? Let's see. And we have the Three of Pentacles. You look like you want uh you look like you want somebody that's in a third party. It kind of looks out like that, like somebody else, like not the one you're with. Mm hmm That's kind of look look that's how it's looking here. Page of Cups is in the reverse. Let's see here. This is in your doubts or your fears, the world card. Okay, you could be doubting, uh <clears throat> you could be doubting you're gonna have this new beginning with somebody. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's an ending and a new beginning here, or there. You know, I feel like there is, and this is why this butterfly is showing up because the butterfly is an ending and a new beginning, the end of the caterpillar and the beginning of the butterfly, right? Like a major change. Let's get one more card and the world card, and this is in your doubts, two of pentacles. So you're going back and forth here if you're gonna have if you're gonna have good luck with somebody. That's kind of how I'm seeing it here. Or if you're going to have them, yeah, you're kind of, uh, I feel like you are in some ways maybe doubting it. This five of swords could be, it's a possibility, it's despair. Could be. But you want a brand new beginning, ace of cups with somebody. And you feel like it's, you can feel like, yeah, you feel like it's out of reach. Yeah, you feel like, I feel like it's with this queen of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and for many of you guys, you know, there could be, uh, there's a lot of people in this reading, though there is, okay? Let's look at your person's energy before we kind of, you know, jump the gun. In the past, wow, the Queen of Cups and now the King of Wands. So the whole wide world is in this reading. Yeah, mm-hmm. Everybody you met in your whole life. <laughs> Just teasing. <laughs> in the past, Queen of Cups, King of Wands. Wow. Could be a couple right here. Could be. It's also a possibility these are just energies. Let's look here. In the past, two of swords. Your person, uh, in the past, they weren't sure about some type of a situation. And it's also like about a union here or about somebody here. This is right. Uh, but it could be here also that you could have these energies in your chart, right? You could because uh, there's too many people here. Every king is here or a queen, right? King of Swords, Queen of Cups, King of Wands, and the uh, Queen of Pentacles. So let's look at the Three of Cups. Why is this there? This is their current energy now. In the past, they look like they were unsure or at a stalemate. About a union, Four of Wands. It could be about whether or not they wanted their freedom, though. The Four of Wands can be freedom. Yeah, it doesn't always have to be a union. Ace of Pentacles, they weren't, they, they weren't sure here. They could have been, been in a stalemate about a decision, about a new beginning. Possibly about their freedom as well. But this can be they were unsure here. Uh, they could have felt stuck. Maybe not even unsure. Two of Swords can be stuck about maybe you and somebody else. It looks like you want somebody here and they were like, they could have been dealing with a few people here. That's kind of how the reading looks. Mm -hmm. Because you want somebody who's your happily ever after. You do. But the page, the Knight of Cups is reversed. Next to the Three of Pentacles. This is typically third party energy. It can sometimes talk about fear. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is third party energy mm -hmm. with all these folks showing up, right? Let's look at the Three of Cups and that's the energy that they're in. So let's see. Yeah, there's already the Three of Cups here and the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Wands. This is their current energy. They look like they're reuniting with somebody. Yeah, that's how this looks here. Mm hmm. Let's see, they could be choosing, they could. The Two of Wands can be choosing, and over here, maybe they're not sure about that choice. So we're going we're gonna to crack the case, though. I feel like we are. Yeah, let's get another card. Three of Swords. Okay, so we know this is a third party for sure. We have every three here except the Wands. Mm-hmm. 
And your person right now, they look like they're just moving forward with somebody. This is how this is looking. They've, they're choosing somebody here in the past. They look like they were unsure, possibly. But let's see. Let's get a card here. They could be heartbroken. It's a possibility. Three of Swords can, you know, can talk about heartbreak, right? Of course. There's three swords and a heart. Uh, one sword is enough for heartbreak, right? Let's see what we got. The Nine of Cups is in the reverse. It looks like your person to me is like kind of moving forward here. It looks like you wanted a union here. They look like they're moving forward with somebody. That's how the, re the reading looks. It looks like in the past they couldn't make up their mind about it, possibly. But let's see. The Nine of Cups is reversed, and that's not really, a, it's not, you know, it can be negative, right? It can be, it can be a few things. Let's get a card on the, uh, let's look over here at your energy where you are, uh, you have all this major arcana about a new beginning, a rebirth. Uh, and an empress, and this could be you because you and Taurus both uh, rule the empress card. Now we have the emperor. Look at this is a, this is a like a power couple. Yeah, I feel like you didn't want something to be over. Yes, this is what's going on. This is yeah. Why these these charms too are talking about endings and new beginnings. Yeah, I feel like that. As I said, I feel like that uh, butterfly, as beautiful as she is, right, uh, can indicate an ending and a new beginning, like a complete change. It can, right? Mm -hmm. But over here, this could be, you know, this can be Aries. There's four major arcana here in your current energy. You could be taking control here, but I feel like this is incomplete. This, You could be an... Yeah, your person, okay, they could be heartbroken. This is the other thing here is your person could be heartbroken here. Because for sure you don't want something to end. Yeah, it looks like, okay, let's see here. Let's look at your, let's finish your, your person's cards here, all right? And then we're going to figure this out, yeah. We're going to get one more card on the Emperor because it looks like you were resisting change. And now you're wondering if you're going to have a, a union with somebody. And your person here, I'm not sure yet whether or not you are kind of breaking their heart. Or, uh, you know, you could have been maybe, you could have been resisting change and you want a new beginning with them. But you're still going back and forth about it over here. This is in your doubts. The Two of Pentacles with the World card. Like you're doubting you're going to have a new beginning. Mm -hmm. It's possible they have, to, they have to leave somebody over here. It's a possibility. Because the Two of Swords is here and in the past, and they have the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands together about the Ace of Pentacles. So both of you guys is all about some type of a new beginning. And let's look at the Page of Swords here. Why is that Page of Swords there for Libra? And now we have the nine, Seven of Wands in the reverse. This is a block for Libra's person, I beg your pardon. Mm-hmm. Your person, I feel like they need some more insight here. Maybe in the past they were, this is why they were like that, two of swords. Let's have a look here and get one more card. Oh, this is for Libra's person. The block is the page of pentacles. Okay, Libra, you don't really look to, uh, you don't look, your person looks like they're having a harder time than you. Mm -hmm. I feel like you want to move forward with somebody, but uh, somebody could have to end another situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's the case. And I feel like it's it's uh, harder for your person over here. I feel like that's the case. Let's get a card on the Nine of Cups. This is what they have in their current energy. They could be heartbroken with the Three of Swords, right? And then they have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, kind of like they're not getting their wish, right? You could be their great wish, right? Yeah, let's see what we have. Now we have the Five of Wands. Wow, they could, your person is struggling here. It could be about a third party. This is Strife, Struggle, and Strife. Five of Wands, Three of Swords. I feel like your person here, uh, you know... Uh, 
I feel like in the block for them, they could be thinking, you're no longer defending this union. Let's look at the Nine of Wands. This is the Wounded Warrior for them, right? Yeah, here they are, like, uh, you know, trying to kind of protect their area here. Yeah, they're in, right, the nine, the Eight Wands are in front of them. They're holding the other wand. And this person is super overwhelmed. They are worried about what's going to happen next. They're on the defense. Yeah, they're defensive, and they, they could be... Possibly exhausted and also uh, like guarded, majorly guarded. This can be insecure because of the, the, like, the feeling of, you know, I have to defend myself or I have to defend my union or I have to stand up here and fight back, something like that. So let's get another card. And what else do they have in their desires? And nobody wants this, right? Yeah, nobody in their right mind wants this. You want a new union, Ten of Cups, or you want a union rather. And in your doubts, you, you could be like doubting you're going to get it. Yeah, right here you want this, you want a rebirth with somebody. Somebody you think is like the right person for you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The lovers, yeah. Your person, yes. Okay, now we got it. Your person's super overwhelmed here. I feel like they are wounded and like, oh God, what's going to happen next? Oh my goodness, right? And then they have the lovers. It's about a choice you're making. Yeah, you are. And maybe over here you are just in your doubts. Maybe you're just, or you're, you know, maybe kind of like your doubts, your fears. You could just be, <clears throat> you know, maybe you're not really doubting it. Maybe what you are doing is trying to figure out whether or not you're going to have a new beginning with somebody. I feel like I said that earlier. But my point about it is that you, I feel like you are the one who wants another union. Yeah, this energy over here, judgment, ace of wands, temperance, empress, the emperor. I mean, you can't get bigger cards than this. I feel like you're having a rebirth with somebody. Or you are taking the steps to do it. You are trying to. Let's get a card on the emperor for Libra. Mm-hmm. And now we have the Sun card. OMG, this could be a Leo. The King of Wands is right here. There could be a Leo, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There you are, the King of Swords, right, on your throne here. This is you in the recent past in your energy, right? Which is, you know, of course, there could be uh, Aquarius or Gemini too because the King of Swords, you guys kind of all share the, the throne. And the Queen of Pentacles is here. Okay? I mean, for a few of you guys, this reading is about a whole bunch of folks. <laughs> right? Yeah. But I do think that you really want something here, and your person's having a real hard time. Now, let's look at their... Uh, let's get one more card for them. The Chariot card. They're super overwhelmed here. They're trying to kind of defend themselves. Because they think that you are making a choice here to have victory with someone else. And in there could be a Cancerian, right? The chariot here, and then the lovers, of course, <coughs> is Gemini. In their doubts or fears or, you know, let's see, the Knight of Swords, it could be you. You could be the Knight of Swords. Yes, you could. So let's have a look. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. The Ace of Swords. This is in their doubts or their fears. I feel like they're fearing you're going to have victory with somebody else. I feel like that's the case here. Ten of Swords. Yeah, they're, they're fearing an ending. Okay, so this reading is pretty clear here. Uh, yeah, it is now after we've laid down all the cards. This is you uh, over here. You have... Uh, I feel like in the past you were resisting an ending or like... You didn't want something to end. Mm -hmm. We're going to get one more card on your current energy with your five major arcana here, yes, and your ace of wands. I mean, these are the biggest cards in the deck, and they're all together. This is your current energy. While your person has the three of cups and the three of swords and the five of wands. And the nine of cups is reversed for them, like, OMG, I'm never going to get my wish. That's their energy. I feel like in the past they weren't feeling so good about it, and right here they're maybe feeling worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So let's get one card on the Sun card. And let's see here. Why does Libra have the Sun card? And now we have the Devil. Okay, we, we're running out of Major Arcana for you, Libra, because you're using, all the, you're using them up here, okay? <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, this could be a Capricorn involved, of course, right, with the Queen of Pentacles here. Is that the Queen or the Knight? Uh, I think it's the Queen. Where is she? Yeah, right here. Okay. Uh, <coughs> you look like you are, uh, like, you could have a little bit of fear here because over here in your doubts, like you're kind of going back and forth here, right? Two of Pentacles, that's what that is usually. You could be juggling somebody. You could simply, uh, you know, on the flip side, right? You could just be, or, you know, an added meaning here. You could just be because I feel like you are on some level, right? And this can talk about a decision, like, or, you know, like, wow, I'm going back and forth. Am I going to have this, right? Juggling your thoughts, but it could, you could be juggling somebody. And in this reading, there's major juggling going on, all right? Yeah, you guys just won the, uh, what is it called? The Barnum and Bailey uh, contest over there at the circus. Yeah, for the juggling, all right? <laughs> Even though he only has two, right? Oh, how many do you juggle? No, real good jugglers have like three or four, I feel like, or at least three, right? Yeah. So, okay, don't get mad, you guys. Just having a good time here, okay? Yeah. So we're going to get one more card here. Seriously, this is your energy right now. Six major arcana and one card, and one ace, all right? Now, if we were playing a poker game, you'd be winning, trust me, with all these great cards, right? If, you were, if we were playing, like, a five-card stud or something like that, okay? Let's get a card here, and uh, for Libra. Now we have the eight of wands. This is change, okay? You have a little bit of fear here, but this is what you want. You really want this new beginning with somebody, all right? I feel like you do. And it's a possibility for a few of you that this is your person who's getting this. Mm -hmm. well, it's a possibility because this, you know, the reading does, it talks about the same situation, but they're general, so we can switch the energies, right? But your person has more challenging cards than you, so I have to say that they are probably the ones kind of suffering, right? Yeah, ten of swords, nine of wands, seven of wands, five of wands, you know, OMG, right? Yeah, okay. So we're going to leave the reading there, Libra, and we're going to go over to, uh, over to the extended. Yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to place it yet until I have my uh, website done. And we're going to talk about all about uh, your person, though, right? So we're going to talk all about them and kind of see what happens between you guys, right? And we're going to see the underlying energies and the major block between you guys, right? Like the common block, what they could be hiding or, you know, what you just don't simply don't know about them, what they're fearing. And their, and their true intentions, all right? Thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys need your own reading, it's always the best way, right? Yeah, it is hands down. Remember, there is a discount right now. Anybody with Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising can get a $50 reading. You get a reading on the person of your choice, and you also get a, a love reading, yeah, like with everybody's energy, third party or not. And you, uh, it's going to change tomorrow. Yeah, it is. It'll be the same offer for Scorpio because tomorrow is the beginning of Scorpio season when secrets are going to be coming out, right? Because there's a Mercury retrograde and things like that. Yeah, not just for Scorpio, for everybody, right? And major transformations for people because Scorpio season is uh, ruled by Pluto, I believe, which is all about transformation and changes, right? Thanks so much, you guys. Really appreciate you guys.